Today, I am back to Brookhaven to do some new Skibbity Toilet characters inspired by episode 72 after one of the craziest Beatles from the Skibbity series released by Defot Boom. Oh, really? Before moving on, just want to say sorry for being absent for so long. We'll try to keep posting more frequently and, and stay tuned because I have been working on something very interesting for all of you. Now let's go back to Skibbity Toilet. But before moving on, make sure you like and subscribe my channel. And also comment more if you want me to do more videos like this one featuring new Skibbity Toilet characters. So many things happened since my last video that I almost don't know where I should start. And stay tuned if you want to learn why the Astro Toilets are bad telling G-Man Toilet. So for our first character, let's go to Roblox and we need to start by deselecting all my dependent dad items. And then on the search bar, let's look for some cyber magnetized claw. By this blocky one, click on the customize button and then make sure you select it. Go back to Brookhaven, refresh your avatar, and you will see that the claw is there. From here, we can introduce ID code 15591986000 to get the CCTV broken head for our Titan cameraman, followed by ID code 1467 657 0931 to dress our character with this dark top, and with ID code 1660. 036-9153 to add the matching bottom pants for our Titan cameraman outfit. Next, let's open the color section and adjust our skin tone to black. When done we can now open the accessories area and look for some tilted cyber neon shoulder cannons. Pick the first ones, and this is how they gonna look like on our Titan. But we are not done yet. We still have to write ID code 1446-843. 2639 to place this rework plasma core on our figure front area. And then let's also use ID code 1453 518 7879 to get these reworked and upgraded wings for our Titan's back. And here we have our Titan cameraman. After he arrives at the battle scheme and decided to pull out one of his hands and replace it one of the Astro Toilet Claws and says for plunger. But I think I got ahead of myself. There are some other cool characters that appeared first on episode 72 part 1 and 2. So let me bring back my regular characters so that we can do some toilets. Let's start by opening the accessories box and look for some jetpack parachute. Pick this darker one and once placed we can continue looking for a rural closet to add this bottom toilet bowl with some cannons at the front. When done, let's get the ID box so that we can introduce ID code 1398-836-4486 to place this spid toilet G-Man boss face on our avatar. Next, let's go back to the accessories area and look for some cyber blaster, like this one for the shoulders, and also this one. And since we are here, these upward ones as well and also some more shoulder blaster like this one. Wow! Our toilet boss is almost ready to fight Astro Toilet. Let's just introduce ID code 541-056-6530 to place a black top on our character. Now, we can also look for some black copper avian like this jetpack one. And let's also introduce ID code 1527-812. 7689 to place this yellow core for normal SP in the front of our avatar. And here is our version of G-Man that decided to show up to destroy everything during the battle but ended up being attacked by Strider Cameraman and firing up lots of yellow lasers against the Claw Astro Toilet. Now, and since later in the battle he put on a protective helmet face mask, let's deselect his face and on the face section let's also deselect any face and then we can use alternatively ID code 1193. 879-1410 to get this Sigma Yo face on him, followed by ID code 879-430-8879 to get these official McLaren sunglasses and lastly we can also use ID code 1678-390-8371 to add this black futuristic soldier helmet to our G-Man. What do you think of the end result? Now, once I bring back my regular avatar, we can also try to make another awesome new character Para got introduced to us by Defot Boom on episode 72. For that, let's open the ID box to write ID code 1698-028-1187 so that we can place this Titan Astro Toilet mask on our avatar. Followed then by ID code 1021-335-3202 to get this darker Icarian Armor MK top and also ID code 1021-335. 8109 for the matching Icarian armor bottom pants. Next, let's go first to the color palette section to change our skin to black and then open the accessories section so that we can search for a mecha obsidian armor like this one. And here is what we have so far. Next, on the ID box we can introduce ID code 1395-464-1399 
2696 to place this dark toilet bottom part called octopus water closet and then continue with ID code 1206 145 5705 to place this dark gray armored 8 bit belt around our figure waist. Let's not forget to go back to the accessories area and search for a dark toilet like this top part. And also look for a bulwark Mr. Pauldron for one shoulder and for the other shoulder. Perfect! Once selected also search for some mecha arms like these ones and as you can see we can get this one version of the new crazy cool astro toilet that appeared towards the end of the battle to save claw astro toilet from man attack. He can also be called gas mask astro toilet, astro knight, astro emperor, astro titan, or even astro toilet boss. Let me know which name you prefer to name him. Let's also use ID code 1363. 420-3087 to add this red lightning sparkles aura around him. This toilet also had a honeycomb shaft shield but the closest I could find is this blocky jacket shield with ID code 1499-679-3765 or there is also this handheld student shield with ID code 1414-471-9172 if you prefer instead of the blue one. Hope in the future there is a more realistic version that can resemble to a honeycomb like it appeared in part 2 of episode 72. Now, that I have my avatar back, I also want to try one more figure. Let's go to Roblox and buy this stickle right hand that then needs to be selected along with the dark top with code 924-245-0171 and the Mr. Toilet Torso. Then refresh the avatar on Brookhaven, so that we can after open the ID box to introduce ID code 1386. 433-2772 to place this cool soldier helmet, followed by ID code 1677-123-8782 to add this dark police uniform top, along with ID code 512-840-4020 to get the matching bottom pants. Then, let's go to the face section and look for a face that resembles like this tough guy one and we can also use ID code 761-102. 3035 to add this black grandpa balding old man hair effect. Let's also go to the accessories and look for some shades. Pick these ones and once done let's introduce ID code 1221-011-1488 to place these black military mecha guns on our avatar shoulders and to finish up on the accessories look for a dark toilet back like this one. And here is a possible version of the police mutant toilet with his rockets that he used to shoot to the mech cameraman. He also had a police riot shield but since it costed Robux, let me just show you this option with ID code 1245-933-9110. In the episode there is also another mutant that has a handsaw so if you want you can use ID code 1521-540-1179 to buy this non-blocky saw arm to be used on that character. Let me know if the end of episode 72 left you speech or what and if you are looking forward personally i cannot wait for episode 73 74 77 80 since the fuck told to elite cameraman that those will be all fire episodes and probably we will be seeing more and more mutant toilets on future episodes don't forget to like and subscribe and write eskibidi if you would like me to make some of the other characters from episode 72 bye for now